Everybody, put your hands together for the mother of the bride, Lynn Lear. Oh my God, all these people, this is amazing. Doesn't this room look gorgeous? I mean, I've never seen it look like this in so many years. Thank you for all, all of you for coming. This is so such a touching and emotional moment for, for our whole family and the Romeo family, and um, we welcome you. As Lynn Lear, the mother of our enchanting bride, Mrs. Madeline Lear Romeo. Woo. <clears throat> I stand before you brimming with pride and joy. Today, as we witness the union of Madeline and Justin, I have the honor of welcoming this brilliant young man, Justin Romeo, into our hearts and our family. We love you, Justin. We are graced today by the presence of Bishop Robert Barron, a very highly respected figure in the Catholic community and a dear friend. His role in the ceremony adds a profound sense of spirituality and significance to this union. Let's take a moment to fondly remember my beloved husband, Norman. a man of immense talent and heart. He was a remarkable man whose legacy of love and understanding will always guide us. Norman would have been immensely proud to see our daughter, a woman of faith, intelligence, and grace embark on this new chapter. Norman got to know and love Justin and was so happy that Maddie would marry a man who's perfectly compliments Norman's belief in love in all of its forms resonates strongly on this beautiful day. I'm certain we can all feel him here with us. Norman! <laughs> I feel you here. I think we all do. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> My journey with Norman taught me invaluable lessons about love and companionship. We knew the importance of space, closeness, mutual respect, and deep affection. These lessons are the foundation of any enduring relationship. On our honeymoon, I asked my husband if I could do anything for him, and he told me yes. You can leave me the heck alone. <laughs> Seriously. And we laughed about that a lot during our long marriage. Madeline, my dear, you have always been a beacon of strength, conviction, and a force of nature. Your father and I forever admired your fierce independence and sweet, kind soul. Your strength, intelligence, and compassion mirror the best of what your dad and I cherished in one another. And Justin, our family's new Romeo. You share a name with one of literature's most famous lovers. Shakespeare said, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Today, you and Madeline are each other's son radiating love and joy. Justin, you bring harmony and balance to Madeline's life as she brings light to yours. With both you sharing similar passions, strengths, and dreams, your journey together promises to be a beautiful, harmonious symphony. And to Donald and Linda, Justin's parents, we welcome you with open arms. The merging of our families is a joyous occasion, and we look forward to the shared memories ahead, lots of them. Norman always talked about life being 
cherished in the everyday moments, as well as the big significant events. So Justin and Madeline, as you embark on your marriage, remember that love is also about the small gestures, a kind word, a shared laugh, and an understanding smile. In closing, let's raise our glasses to a couple whose love story may not have been written by Shakespeare, but is equally prophetic, or pro poetic and profound. So to Madeline, I don't have a glass, but to Madeline and Justin, may your love, oh, thank you. <laughs> to Madeline and Justin, may your love be as enduring as the greatest of love stories and your journey together filled with love, respect, and endless joy. I love you.